There is cautious optimism this week after researchers at Western University in London, Ontario announced the possibility of a potential cure for ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. It's a deadly, debilitating disease that affects about 4,000 Canadians. CTV Sarah Plowman has more details on the discovery and the reaction. I. Laws. Her mind races, her body is stuck. Bonnie Petten can't talk except through a computer. She was active, a massage therapist. More than two and a half years after her ALS diagnosis, the disease has robbed her of all of that. I'm living the nightmare instead of the dream. Yeah. This week, researchers at Western University shared a breakthrough. I think we can reasonably look at this and say, this is, this is swinging for the bleachers. We think that in three to five years, we'll be looking at something that might be cured. ALS impairs nerve cells, causing weakness and death. In virtually all patients, a toxic protein builds up, killing the cell. Dr. Michael Strong and his team discovered another protein that could stop or reverse this, halting the disease's progression. They first tested flies, then mice, and found when animals with ALS were injected with a new protein like this mouse, Lucy, they survived long after the animals without the protein. Lucy was still around at 18 weeks. A $10 million boost from a donor means human trials could start in three to five years. Researchers are optimistic, but also cautionary. We're men, we're not mice. Petten has a name for the researchers. Angels. Bring it in. Mm -hmm. She says she'd take part in the trials if she could, as she battles symptoms, but also time. I'm going to say hurry up because the people who have it now won't be alive in five years. Researchers say what they found could be the key to unlocking a treatment not just for ALS, but also for other related neurological conditions, such as frontotemporal dementia. Sarah Plowman, CTV News.